It's that time of year, everybody. During the first, what, five months of the year, people forget gays are people too. So, uh, that's why corporations put rainbows on everything. Stamp out homophobia once and for all. And people celebrate it. Some people think it's uh, silly and pandering, but God, no. This is pandemonium. It's time to play the gayest Sonic game in the entire franchise and turn the volume down while we're at it. Ha! Gay! That's right. We gay this month. Aren't we? Or maybe... I'm a straight ally, thank you. And, uh, I'm playing a game that has rainbows and Eurobeat in it, so... Obviously, I'm a moral arbiter. Anyway, jokes aside, this is Sonic R. A game to play... every day of the year. Because... It's just a good fucking video game. I just, this whole, like, gay thing, it's it's a bit. It's a bit. No amount of bits will make me take my shirt off. I'm sorry. But, uh, in any case, hello, Check. Hello, Tile. Hello, Richard Seegers. Hello, everybody. I have some exclusive sound alerts for this month because I want to have a little bit of fun. Take the piss and play some good video game. I anticipate this stream to be shorter than the usual, but you know what Chad Warden says. You know who plays that shit? Gay niggas. Gay niggas. That's right, Chad Warden. Couldn't have said it better myself. Set, go. This game receives a lot of flack, mainly from people who take uh, YouTubers' words as gospel. They say, uh, Game bad because another YouTuber told me it's bad. But uh, they don't know good video games. Listen to that. I'll be sharing some fun facts. And, um... I don't know, this is like a game that I've streamed several times over the years. I'm probably pretty rusty because I haven't played it in a hot minute. Give me that shit. Yeah, there we go. I'll be trying out some of the characters and extra modes. It'll be good. Does it brighten up your day? Sometimes you just need to run away. Like you're in Kevin Spacey's basement. Oh God. That is not a comfortable situation to be in, probably. All right, give me that. Collect the shekel. So yeah, this game was originally supposed to be an F1 racing game. But, uh... Because Sonic Extreme was going about as well as Sonic Extreme was going... It was on the way out, for those who don't know. They needed to have a Sonic game for that year, for the Saturn, and uh, this is what we got. A game that was repurposed into a Sonic game, and it is such a dumb idea, but so good. And I'm about to say gamer words because I lost to Knuckles. Wow, I good at and add Sonic food. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I wonder if Sonic celebrate Has Sonic the restaurant put uh, rainbows on their social media yet? We're gonna have a problem if not. I mean, come on, get with it. Hello, Nick221, how you doing? So Nick has been telling me that he's been playing Street Fighter VI. That's pretty cool. I'm still, you know... I still need to get that game sometime. Probably on a discount in my case, but uh... Yeah, the character creator... And the fact that the existing characters aren't censored... ...to my knowledge, at least? I don't know. 
I'm still getting the hang of this. You gotta use the, uh, the triggers or the shoulder buttons if you're using a normal controller. Really just, you know, get the curve just right. Like slipping a condom on before having butt sex with uh, another man. I can say that still, can't I? Or has the concept of gender been abolished already? <laughs> Cam, you look different. Ha! Gay! <laughs> That's right, that was the gayest thing one could say. I don't know, I can probably say something. I mean, if Moomin Troll was here, you could probably really ramp up the gay shit. And, uh... Oh, yes. I get to challenge Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic is cool, he's in Sonic CD. And I guess if you're playing Sonic CD during the month of June and you enter a certain code while the controller is shoved up your butt... Um... Ha! <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Then uh, the, the CD will then magically stand for Cross Dresser. Pingus! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pingus. <laughs> it feels good to be on the right side of history and looking after all of the gays in the whole world because I know them all. I'm a straight ally and a moral arbiter. God, I'm gonna do be doing this the whole month. Oh, and by the way, speaking of channel points, if you like Cat Boys, it's down from 1,800 to 900 channel points. Oh my god, Tile, you are a horrible influence on me. You are so bad. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's, uh... Made Cat Boy! Ah, uh, yes, the old favorite. Nya nya. I heard it's fag month. Nya nya. Can I say fag on Twitch? Probably not. But uh, I wasn't given very many treats lately. And I'm gonna lose the race, so when you're losing a game... Wait, never mind. Crisis averted. I was gonna say the gamer word. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. So if if, if nigger's the gamer word, what's faggot? Is that like the carpenter word or the gardener word? Like, what group of people is more homophobic? I I don't know. We need to know these things. <laughs> we need to know these things for research. So we know. I know there's that whole narrative, gamers are toxic. Greg. That's right, Tony Soprano. Ready, set, go. Your words hurt. They're hate speech, I don't like that, but uh... <laughs> what was I gonna say? Some poorly strung together joke. Ah, never mind, it'll come back to me. A pizza bite treat. Nya nya. It makes me want to die. And the suicide rates are climbing very so high. <laughs> Motherfucker. So I'm trying to go back to this stage, get the Chaos Emerald. Now if you're really good at this game, you can get like all the collectibles, like all the coins and all the emeralds. Oh, no way. It's a bummer. Let me just retry. If you're really good, you can get all the coins and all the emeralds. If you get all the coins in a stage, um, you get to challenge, you know, that I already got the Metal Sonic. Yeah, Cammy looks different. Gotcha. Does she still have a nice butt? Still hot. Uh, for some reason, it says still connecting to chat. Even though, like... 
I don't know what's going on with my chat. On my end, it says connecting to. Ch okay, never mind. Connecting the chat room. Uh, I must have had some problem there. Some homophobes are dissing my stream, probably. They're trying to shut me down. They're homophobes, I tell you. They don't feel the sunshine. I wonder what Sonic is running from. A uh, cross-dresser he met in the bathroom? How very homophobic of him. I guess that we could say that this game is like a journey. God, like looking... I, I sometimes... I don't know if it's like egotistical or whatever, but I like to rewatch my vlogs sometimes. This one's gonna watch hurt. Watch out for the egg digger! <laughs> That's right, you gotta watch out for the... He's running away from the egg digger. That's right, that would have been way more funny for me to say. Than trying to make it about gays and gay rights. But what am I talking about? It, it, it's all gotta be about that. You know. I mean, next month we can, like, starting July 1st, we can uh, disregard all that. Because that's how it works, right? He's still hot. Have a big butt. And you know who else Cammy is in? A certain Dreamcast game. By the way, for those who don't know, this is not a Dreamcast game. This is a Saturn game. Running on real Saturn hardware. Which is... I'm always happy to point that out. Not to be a snob or whatever. I think emulation and the PC port of this game, when modded, is really good too. It's all good. More people need to play Sonic R. But, uh, yeah. I just couldn't be bothered to make a Saturn-themed layout. Ready, set, it might- my go. stream got delayed at kinda last minute. Not really last minute. There was a few hours left. It wasn't going to be at four like I planned, usually. Oh, yes. Everything is free, including college. But yeah, Cammy is in a Dreamcast game called Cannon Spike. I think that's that's the character that appears in Cannon Spike. I think there's also Mega Man, but we don't want to bring up Mega Man, otherwise we might summon a certain harlot into the stream. Uh, fuck. Ah. Uh, look at all these pretty colors. Also, another fun fact about Sonic R. All the stages in the game start with the letter R. It's a game for gamers. And by gamer, I mean gamer with a hard R. And with a Y in between uh, A and M. God, I love this game. Anyway, I got it. I think I got the emerald too. All good in the hood. I'm decent at this game, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Street Fighter, I mean, it's made by Japanese people. And so is anime, the style. I don't know, maybe there is a Street Fighter anime out there. I know there was like a really cheesy live-action Street Fighter, wasn't there? There's also a cartoon where the... Um, you had the cheesy, very memeable... Yes!
I mean, a lot of, I mean, the more I talk about, like, other media, I think maybe that should be a sound alert. Maybe the, yes! Set, go. I actually was pondering making the Chad Warden clip, the one where he's like, yeah, you know, we'll play that shit gay niggas as, like, a pride thing. But nah. Oh, wow. Okay, so Tails Doll is much faster here. Son of a bitch. It's almost as if the Saturn version has, like, the recommended difficulty. And if you pick the hard difficulty, it's actually hard compared to the PC version, which I think massively decreases the difficulty. But yeah, I'd say for accessibility purposes, the PC version is the best, because there's an updater program that you can run, it's just an EXE. And uh, Sonic R, basically, you know, if you have the old version, it updates to the... ...to the 2004 version. But then you gotta, like, get a collection of mods that... Uh, ...you know. I don't know, I don't remember if there's, like, a complete pack of mods, but I know there's a video by Blaze Hedgehog that, uh, you know, anyone willing to try Sonic R should, uh, you know, look into it because it is a beautiful game. What I like to do when I play the PC version, right? I'm, I like to play the, uh, what was it? What was it gonna say? I like to use the uh, mod manager to decrease the internal resolution like the window if i if i'm playing in a window like 1280 by 960 so it's a nice big 4x3 but then i have the internal resolution as something like 320 by 240 to kind of mimic that generation of hardware because i don't know having these low poly graphics kind of smoothed out and not pixely I think, you know, it doesn't look quite right, I think. I know these games were designed for CRTs. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, you know what? Let's let's go to Knuckles. He can fist. Okay. Wait, hold on. Radicals. Oh. I didn't get all the emeralds here, I guess. There's like one more. Can't remember. Hold on. I have to think about this for a moment. Uh, like I said, it's been a hot minute since I've played this game. Always loved the game. But man, it has been a while. Go! Alright. Apparently I heard Knuckles has like the best handling, although I'm not so sure. I don't know. So I got all the coins, because I did beat Tails Doll in a race. And I got that emerald. I don't remember... There's supposed to be some kind of, uh... I have to think for a moment. Hmm... The second emerald is somewhere. Wait. Didn't I get two emeralds last time? You know what? I'll get both emeralds again, or I'll, like, take the route anyway. I learned way too late that the, uh, collecting rings... ...apparently, uh, increases your acceleration or speed or whatever. I was foolish. I, I didn't know that was the case, but, uh... Alright, so I got that. I could have sworn I got that emerald before. Anyway. Let me be rusty. It's okay. Oh no. I completely screwed up my route there. So once I get 50 rings, I'll be able to go for the next emerald. I... Pretty sure I remember going for that other emerald that was up there, but oh. Uh oh. The egg digger's on the way. Oh no! Oh, oh boy! You know you have to 
Now I'm just picturing Elf in this game. Yeah, he could he could say some pretty racist shit when he loses because I don't know. He has a space alien. Mr. Formations. <laughs> oh come on. Gays are people too. You know that, Mixa. You should know better than ever anyone. <laughs> oh man. You so mean, Mixa. On Pride Month? God. Bigot. Ah. Let me ask you something, Mixa. How many penises have you sucked? I bet I've sucked a lot more penises than you have. You bigot. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> gay! It's not gay, it's empowering. And I said no homo. How dare you. Wait, shit, I didn't think... Damn it. I have to get the, uh... <laughs> it's just boys being boys, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ready, set, go! I am so rusty at this game, it's not even funny. That's right, Mixa. Oh, I'm almost there. I was so close to having that emerald. You have to go through these gates, right? <laughs> Oh, you got gay turtles in the stream, too. I love this game. Get out of the way, Sonic. You don't chuckle, therefore you don't matter. Ah. Here we go. You gotta keep the dream alive, guys. So yeah, for those who don't know, those who aren't in my Discord or haven't been following my Twitter or whatever, the, uh... I do have streams planned that don't quite match the theme of Pride. I know. Total bigotry on my part, I apologize. I'll hashtag do better, but um, yeah, so next week, PSO NGS version 2 comes out, so I'll definitely be showing off the creative spaces and uh, oh my goodness, help. This game can be kind of tricky. Play furry fetish game. The one you linked? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm obliged to do so. I mean, I don't want to be a bigot. You know? Those ga Yeah, the gay visual novels? Well, uh, all seriousness, if you want a free game, uh, Tell Me Why is uh, free to keep on Steam. You know, they're doing that Pride Month promo. Yeah, that's pretty gay. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if it's just for fetishes. I think Pride Month is uh, all about being a good person.
because you put a rainbow on your Twitter bio. Oh shit, I forgot to put a rainbow on my Twitter bio. Fuck. Thank God I rarely check my Twitter. Ready, set, go. Tell me why way too normal for what I was thinking about. Wait, are you trying to insinuate or inseminate that it's uh, not normal for a dog, a giant furry dog to crush a city and shoot ropes of cum everywhere and for that to be made into a game on Steam? You're insinuating that that's not normal? How dare you? That's so gay. <laughs> I can't. Like, I don't know. I'm not trying to play a character. Oh, I kind of am. Right? Let's be real. Fucking. <laughs> I can't stick to the, the whole pride gimmick. I just break so easily. I just love this game way too much. It's good. Catboy approve. Ah! Damn it, Tails. You're so straight. That's so straight. Fuck. Uh, okay, retry. I don't think the camera sucks. Um. It's just a matter of me getting good. I'll concede that I'm, again, rusty at the game. Set, go. It keeps clipping into stuff. Well, it's just a, a euphemism for, like, gay rights and stuff. What are you, what are you? You're, you're inseminating that there's something wrong with that. I don't like it. Fuck. The Saturn is trying. Fuck. I gotta, gotta do more of this shit. The PC version apparently has better controls, which is awesome for... God damn it. Why do I suck at this game all, all over again? Why? I used to be decent. Used to be a competent Sonic R player. Ready, set, well, that means go. more content, I guess. More content. I guess the reason is, like, when I play Sonic R, when I used to play it more frequently, I would have uh, the routes planned out for how to, where, when to get which collectible. I don't really have that in the back of my mind yet. Or, I don't have that in my mind at all as much. So, what can you do? Oh my god. Missing the coin is the worst. And I'm getting chased by an egg digger. You guys saw that projectile, right? Oh no! Watch out! For that egg digger! Uh... Where's that last coin? I can't... I got one of the emeralds, at least. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yo. I love the little fart sound that uh, Tails makes. I think it's right here, right? 
Come on. Get the damn coin. And Knuckles beat me. It's over, guys. I do love this little uh, fancy kind of simulate. Well, not simulated, but faked reflection on the Sonic head. That's not in the PC version. Like, this was Traveler's Tales flexing what they could do with the Saturn. I'm sure there's some kind of uh, effects here that could not be done with uh, the PlayStation. In some of these games, at least. Um, there's that narrative that the Saturn was like shit for 3D. Like, nah, man. Had a bitch of an architecture or whatever that was hard to work with. More than it should have been. But, um, shit. I'm running into an invisible wall, that's what's happening. You can't fly over the pillars. Eh. I love these little penises that are erect in that little area. I love these little pe that didn't sound right. All right, cool. Got all the shekels, I will... I don't remember which character you race here. I think it's like, I don't, I can't remember. Just take the shortest route now. When you're in supersonic racing, there's no time to look around, except when there is. Oh yeah, easy. RTX on, right? It's the weight racing. Wow. Ready, set, go. Yeah, I don't know. Like some people, like will bring up, will be so quick to bring up. Like, uh, I don't remember who it is, but when I was praising the reflections in like old two thousands games, someone was like, "Oh, but those are fake reflections, though." And it's like, so. They get the job done! Nowadays, modern games need to implement ray tracing or just have a hideous looking non reflective mirror. And it's usually the latter. The camera infuriates you? Oh well. I guess if you're newer to the game and don't know the layout of the stages or what to expect, I guess you could say, yeah, the camera would uh, kind of be a bother, because, like, I don't know, like, for example, uh, when you're going on a slope, maybe the camera can't quite keep up. Hello! Happy Pride Hard Pretzel! Thank you for the raid, sir. It has been a while. I was just saying, it's been a while since I played Sonic R. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been doing more than just uh, Tails, though. I've been doing uh, right. Knuckles. Hello, Desire Lines Games. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I gotta get the uh, emeralds now, I think, in Regal Ruin, yeah. Having good art style is way more important. High-res graphics is no replacement. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. There's a lot to, um... I don't know, there's a lot to unpack when looking at newer games. I don't know. I'd much rather play a game with, uh... I don't know. Fucking... I don't even know what I want half the time. Yes, style... That's... That's a good way to put it. Style over specs. Even in, like, not even just in graphics, but, you know, there's this game that, um... 
was like, it got really mediocre reviews. I should show it off on stream at some point, but it's really good. Uh, Wanted Dead. Um, it's great. It got really negative reviews, but it, the game's got style, you know? It, it kind of deliberately mimicking the sort of PS3, PS2 kind of era of gameplay where it was just not too long but very hard and uh you know doesn't take itself too seriously i wanted to count the wrinkles in the main character's butt crack i would for a game i want to play yeah exactly i don't know like i never thought i'd see this but like ever since the ps5 came out especially there have been people complaining about games having ps3 graphics and i'm like what People aren't saying this ironically, right? Why did I complete that race without going for any emeralds? I was- I told myself I'm gonna replay this stage to get the emeralds. But... I don't know. Retry. <laughs> yeah, and ha I don't know. Meanwhile, PS3 graphics- I mean, some games look... A bit rough, I guess, if they weren't programmed right for the PS3. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't want to play a game like Shadow of Mordor for the PS3 compared to other systems, but I, I don't know, like... PS3 had the Ratchet and Clank games, Last of Us, Fat Princess, Uncharted... Uh, all vastly different games with vastly different styles that all do it very well. It says Super Stardust HD, um, kill zone even. Uh, yeah. Echo Chrome, which fucks around with the, uh, the MC Escher, I guess it's called, uh, Optical Illusions, where you gotta get the guy to the other side. I don't know. Nostalgia. It's a great discussion topic. I could go on for... Hi, Mamba! Remember Reagan? Remember when marriage was between a man and a woman? Let's well, not! <laughs> but I Mamba! I do wonder what that Member Berries plot in South Park would have looked like. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it was... They were prepared to move ahead with the uh, Member Berries plot if Hillary won the 2016 election. They, were, they just thought Trump was just gonna go away. I don't know. Politics aside, I just think... Uh, you know, it must have been hell to have to rewrite all that stuff. I don't know, I was kind of tired of Mr. Garrison being Trump. I was kind of like, I miss the old Mr. Garrison. The games in the PlayStation Showcase stream a few weeks ago were all hyper-realistic. It's impressive, yeah, but kind of boring. Perfect example is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. It's an okay game, but I can never play it for more than like an hour or so. It gets boring fast, because it's like... The graphics are dazzling, but it's like... Dazzling graphics. The appeal from dazzling graphics... It, it only... It only takes you so far. Wait, did I get the emeralds already? I'm like on autopilot here. I can only do so many slower paced open games, right. I don't know, this is gonna get me shit, but, uh... Breath of the Wild... I mean, I like Breath of the Wild, it's overrated. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I like Breath of the Wild, but I'm in no rush to go to Tears of the Kingdom. It really is just like... Ready, set, oh, you have to stop and build things now, which, I mean, it's fun when you have the option to build things. Like, I'm looking forward to the... 
Fantasy Star Online 2 update where you can build stuff. That's like, and, and the cell shading and everything. So I'll be streaming that at some point. Um, probably on Friday, next Friday. But uh, I don't know. I swear, for uh, modern Zelda fans, the terms overpriced DLC or glorified DLC are like the MK Ultra K kill word. <laughs> I don't know, if you, like it, if you like a game, it shouldn't matter if people are shitting on it. I don't know. Like, I like Sonic R, knowing full well that a lot of people dislike it and... Probably just don't get it, but it's whatever. I don't want to, like, go around telling other people that they're wrong. If they sound particularly ignorant, then I'll just be like, oh, I'll, I'll just dislike your video. And you're going to be really sad, and you're going to be encouraged to hashtag do better. Yeah, Yakuza. Yakuza's a good example. I do think... When it comes to Zelda, they could have done a lot better. For Majora's Mask? Completely used... Well, I don't know about completely. They might have made some new stuff. But, um... You know, for Majora's Mask, it was mostly... You know, Ocarina of Time assets. It was done in such a short time. It was a darling for the Zelda fandom. Maybe... I don't know about for the time. Yeah. Kamurocho every time... And they managed to make it like a new kind of different mood each time, depending on like whether if it's Judgment or which Yakuza game and which time period. I'm always curious, much more so than with the story of Yakuza games. Keep in mind, I am like not an experienced Yakuza player at all. I only beat like Kiwami, but when I see a new Yakuza game come out, I'm like, okay, which arcade games are there gonna be? What I would like to see mostly is, um, this was a thing in Shenmue 1, but never returned in any other Shenmue game or the Yakuza games. I want to not only go to the arcade and play classic Sega games, but I want, like, a chance to, like, win or buy an arcade game or, like, a console game, like the Saturn games in Shenmue 1. So, like, if there's Outrun at the arcade, Give me a chance to play it at my, like, virtual dwelling place. Yeah. Um. Like, I would have never heard of Motor Raid if it weren't for Judgment. Masterpiece of a game. Because it has a tomboy with a spear on a bike. And I'm like, yes. I, there's no, I, I don't know. I guess the goal is to not get hit and fall off your bike. But when I see my character you know, smack another dude off a bike. I'm like, God, I wish that were me. <clears throat> Not a masochist, but... <laughs> Come on, Tails. You got this. You got this, brother. Whew. The, the, the fart sound. It's okay, Tails, come on. <laughs> He's got the runs. Is it really still going? It's still going even when I pause it. What the hell? Taco Bell! Taco Bell! <laughs> Ooh. 
He had too many of the nacho fries. I can't blame the guy. Taco Bell bug. I don't know if I ever encountered this. I mean, I mostly play Sonic R on PC. Doubly so when I'm like on my Steam Deck and I can just have that on the go, but I don't know, there's something about the Saturn version that I'm like, I'm gonna be a snob and just be a purist. I mean, this was like the first game I tried when I got my Saturn, that and Power Slave, but that's another story. All right, Mecha Knuckles is a real son of a bitch, so I gotta like, gotta hustle. Sonic H for hustle. Taco Bell Bug. I've never encountered that on PC. I think this is the first time I encountered it at all. Yeah, if it's not on PC, I guess I can be a snob and a purist to boot that too. Well, actually, the Saturn version has the Taco Bell Bug. Yeah, I mean... It should just be like, yeah, Sonic Hard R. Just have, like, Sonic and friends. It would be like an edutainment thing, but not cursed, like, uh... Not cursed, like, uh, Sonic Schoolhouse, but it would just be like... Yeah, a sermon from Sonic and friends telling you that racism is bad. <laughs> you know, Big the Cat would come up and be like... You know when you're holding the Dreamcast controller? And, uh, the uh, you tell me that I'm a fat piece of shit for not catching Froggy. Is it still going? Tails! Similar can happen with the robot ambient noise and Amy's car sounds. <laughs> oh, wow. So you, I don't know, you know this stuff? I don't even need to go on Game Hut. Game Hut, by the way, YouTube channel by the programmer of this game. Great for Sonic R trivia. I can just go to Pretzel for that. <laughs> It'll go until you start a new stage and finished. But still, it's very concerning. I think Tails should get that checked out. Start a new stage and finish, okay. Jeez. I've had Taco Bell the last couple days, actually. Maybe that's... Maybe that has something to do with it. Like, I didn't have any stomach problems afterwards, so maybe they just got brought over to Tails. <sighs> oh, God. I'm giving all these people that make AI voice memes, I'm giving them ideas. Late rate message, hello Squiggly. <laughs> the Carbies, yes. The Carbies. Love the Car- I can't help but think of Pretzel and his VTuber when I see Carby in any game. Or when I see like photographs of Carby merch on uh, Twitter and stuff. I'm pretty sure it happens because when getting the tokens, there's a really weird load before fighting the Robot Master. Interesting. I consider it more of a feature than a bug. Oh. Encouraging, you know, better dietary habits. Otherwise, your ears will suffer. All right, here goes. I'm gonna go for the emerald. My emerald dudes, give it to me. Oh, now it's gone. Not sure if I'll make it. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna make it. It doesn't fully clear the stage, but resets the race. So that's where I think the sound call versus unload glitch happens, but not enough people play the Saturn version, so there isn't a super repeatable strat for it. Very frame-dependent and getting lucky. That is... 
Not a bad idea, yeah. Uh, not a bad point. Uh, what was I gonna say? I guess it's my lucky day then. It's ironic though that I get the so called Taco Bell bug because I was gonna order Taco Bell earlier today. I only have the money for two orders of nacho fries at the moment. But. I don't mind. <laughs> it's okay. But, uh, no. I'm just gonna starve through it, I guess. Taco Bell. Tails Taco Bell speedrun any percent. After finishing this level, it should clear out. I think it already cleared out. Oh no, it's actually still there, but, like, quiet. <laughs> okay. That's so cool, though. Okay. I think we got this. I mean, it makes sense that there'd be similar bugs to this. I don't know. Like, I feel like the Saturn is doing its all with games like this, and, uh... It's amazing. I love it. The Saturn did this. I always say the Dreamcast did this when I'm talking about impressive things on the Dreamcast, but... No, the Saturn's no slouch either. And for those who aren't aware, Hard Pretzel is the person to talk to about Sonic R. Sonic R super fan. Like, he's more of a Sonic... I, I would always talk up Sonic R on my streams and on the internet in general, but yeah, no, he's a bigger Sonic R fan than me. The fix is that the sounds don't loop indefinitely until told to stop. You hear some sounds continue to play after the race unloads. Gotcha. Okay. Oh no, Tails, are you okay? Oh no. Oh no. Is it because I restarted? The race? Oh yes. The last stage. Radiant Emerald. Oh! Oh! Are we good? Are we Gucci? I think we're good. Ready, All right, the pride stage. Ready. All corporations are putting basic rainbows on their, you know, profiles on social media. That's nah. so gay. <laughs> oh, speaking of gay, hello, Jezfest. Speaking of uh, sexual tension between Two consenting men. How you doing, Chiz? But yeah, as I was saying, if you really support, you know, the equity and all that, you're gonna put Radiant Emerald. I don't want to throw a Mario Kart under the bus. So, you know, I'll include Rainbow Road in that rule. If you want to put Rainbow Road on there instead, Oh yeah. I'd throw short Italian men under a <laughs> Wow, Mixa. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Tony Soprano, does he qualify as a short Italian man? Or are we talking about, like, actual little people like Mario? I mean, maybe Mario, but... I don't know, I don't want... I don't want anyone to get hurt, so don't try that on, uh... uh like Tony Soprano.
I'm coming for you. Now, see, like, I would make jokes about this game, right? And how maybe... Maybe Tails is running away from Kevin Spacey or something. I don't know. Like, something stupid like that. Ah, he just wants another Taco Bell fix. I love the entire soundtrack of this game. Fun fact, though. One of the programmers of the game... I don't know if it was John Burton or someone else, but they programmed a way to kind of opt out of the vocals in the songs that play. And, um... It, uh... But, you know, while programming the game, while working on it, the vocals... eventually grew on him. Like, he was worried that a lot of people would just hate the vocals, and it's cool that the option is there, but... Industrial Strength Italians, that's right. Oh man, there's always one, like, highlight of the stream when it comes to chat. That's probably it. I used to put, you know, funny chat messages on the thumbnails of videos, but... You know. Maybe I'll go back to doing that someday. John Burton, there he is. Are John and Dave Burton related? I don't know. Not exactly eager to look it up. I don't really care enough to do so. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like jamming out to it without the vocals, but no, the vocals are great. No hate. So Alex Moore in the Discord server, to comment on the Street Fighter conversation from earlier, Street Fighter did have a live-action movie, the, mem the memeable TV series, sorry, but it also had a decent anime movie. I think it had a few OVAs since, as well as comics. It is hilarious, though, when one fails to keep a bit up, but then later returns to it anyway. Mixa asks, why don't you talk in Twitch chat? Because I don't have a Twitch account, can't be arsed to make one. <laughs> oh, hey, Jebra. Been a while, Pim. Pim. How'd your appointments go? And you are right. Sega always had the best 90s and 2000s music. I say as I talk all over it. Oh, you don't? Damn. Is this some more Jez shenanigans that is uh, preventing my notifications from appearing? Or <laughs> steal it from an industrial strength Italian? Jez says. Um, I do know there's a roles channel in my Discord where you can get notifications for my Twitch. If you click the Twitch roll, you can get, like, uh, notifications through Discord, if that's something you're into. I never impose that on anyone with everyone reacts or whatever. Hi, Richard. Jez, stop it, please. <laughs> yeah, but my Discord's pretty chill. They're pretty meme -y and shitposty. You know, very irreverent bunch, just like myself. Um, but yeah, if you're not into, like, say, porn, just don't click the roll. I have it set up so basically, when it comes to, like, content, you don't, you can't complain, right? You have, uh, you have roles to opt in and out. It's a fake toggle? That sucks. I don't know, maybe I need carrier pigeons or something. Yeah, yeah. 
You better hurry and get this notification to Tylen Jebra, or I'm gonna eat you because I'm a cat. Nya nya. I've not once seen them work. Oh. I wouldn't know. I do get email notifications for like hard pretzel and everyone else's stream, like vine sauce and everything. I think they work on mobile. I don't like using Twitch. Yeah, I don't like using Twitch on mobile either. The thing with Twitch on mobile is uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Like the ad blocks don't work. I know not all content creators uh, think highly of ad blocking, but uh, I don't care. Personally, Twitch mobile is awful. Personally, I don't mind if people block ads. It's it's whatever. Um, I guess uh, there might be one of those Android apps out there. Yeah, I yeah, I'm the same way. Ready, God likes it when you add block. Oh right, yeah, I think I linked it too. It's like on F Droid or whatever, but I guess iPhone users are gonna. And they kind of have to suck it up unless they install a pie hole or something. <laughs> pie hole. Official, yeah. It is. Maybe you can block ads if you use, like, the Brave browser on mobile. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know, it's like, fucking, it's kind of a catch-22. I've tried playing around with the settings, but it just makes it worse. Safari on iOS has extension support, that's cool. I always assumed Apple would be like, you know, anyone who uses Apple is kind of at the mercy of everyone and kind of up shit's creek or whatever. That may change, at least in the EU, because I think they... They're made to allow, uh, you know, side-loading apps, so there'll be more options on top of what you already have. Not out of the goodness of their hearts. I mean, I'm not saying Google is great either, I mean... They suck too. That really sucks, Tile. Yeah, I didn't know that. I never really used Max personally. I've used them like at school. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, Safari, I imagine it's not very good. I've heard that Edge browser is alright. The Microsoft browser, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like a piece of my soul would float away, pack its bags, and leave if, uh. You know, if I installed Edge on my computer. At the end of the day, I'm not edgy, I'm misunderstood. It's not anymore, it's bloated as fuck now. I mean, it's not surprising it has a Chromium base. Like so many other browsers. I've never heard of Hyperweb. That is interesting. I'm curious, what am I missing for unlocking Supersonic? At launch it was as alright as a corporal browser can be. Ah, uh, well. Hyperweb is an extension for Safari. That's cool. Okay. If I ever find myself uh, tied to a chair, like, Clockwork Orange style, and forced to use uh, Safari. Yeah. Now, kind of, like, ever since there was that announcement for... Um, the Manifest 2.0 thing, or whatever it was, I, I jumped ship from, uh, uh, from most Chromium-based stuff. Like, on my main PC, I use Firefox, which I don't like that much either, but... Ad-blocking is much smoother on that. 
I guess they haven't completely stamped out ad blocking on Brave or other Chromium browsers or whatever. Libre Wolf Molvad. Okay, cool. I gotta try Libre Wolf. I've heard of it. And Molvad is supposedly the best VPN. Because I guess if you really want to, you can have it be completely anonymous. Pay anonymously. Whatever. It's de-bloated... It's de-bloated Firefox and not made by sellout hypocrites. I'll look into it. Mulvad made- oh right, the Mulv- yeah, I heard about that. There's that, um, I actually linked that video and I forgot all about it. The Mulvad browser. It was like a mental outlaw video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me treats. Google announced lots of cool shit coming to web browsers soon, pretty much making web apps a lot closer to desktop apps. That could be neat. But anything like, you know, Google, Apple, You know, anything like that, any big corporate, whenever they promise something awesome, it's like... Part of me is like, oh, this could be cool, but another part of me is like... <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> nya nya. I guess we'll see, won't we? There's so many options for browsers that, uh, you know, competition is booming. As long as you don't think about the fact that most browsers are Chromium. I will give the Moldad browser a go. Alright, did I unlock Supersonic? I'm actually not 100% on, like, the requirements for unlocking every character. I think I unlocked Supersonic. I must have. Uh. Let's do a time attack. I did not unlock Supersonic yet. What did I do wrong? Did I not get enough Emmer dudes? Let's look at. My, is there a way to look at my progress to know what I'm missing? Let's see. Is it in the best times menu? No, it's not. Uh. Well, I can just load data and play the Supersonic on that. Why oh, have the game level set to easy here? What the hell? I'm getting a phone call. Go away, scam likely. Go away. Perish. <laughs> anyway, I'll do a little something something. As Supersonic before I call it. This was inevitably going to be a shorter stream than usual because there's only so much you can do with Sonic R. It's a short game, but I'd rather have a short game than a needlessly bloated game. Ready, set, go! Alright. Look at that. Funny story, when I was a kid, I used to call him P-Sonic. Because, I don't know, bodily functions are funnier. You know, when you're a kid. 
I don't know. I think farts are funny. I mean, I was... I found it amusing, the Taco Bell bug earlier. Meanwhile, like, Hard Pretzel, he, he comes up with a, like, encyclopedic level knowledge about the origins of the Taco Bell bug. Uh, presidents that were assassinated by the Taco Bell bug. And I thought I loved Sonic R. You feel me, guys? I mean... <laughs> it's great. Arts are f yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm Canadian, so it helps. You know, I'm Canadian, so I, I definitely find farts funny because Canada has Terence and Philip. I'm kind of like geographically, at least, disposed to uh, predisposed, I guess. <laughs> I guess you can also, speaking of search engines, you can probably, uh, it's probably a good idea to diversify the uh, specific search engines you use. Because I know there's some search engines that are good for different things, like... Um... What is the, the Russian search engine? I forget what it's called. And I lost. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um... God, what's it called? Yandex. Yeah, Yandex. Nyan Yandex. Yandex is good, not for news, because Yandex is like Russian-owned, you're gonna get the Russian propaganda and all that, or it's like, you get all these weird non-truths, like gay people don't exist or whatever. Um, but for torrents, it is so much better than Google. So if you're looking for like, I don't know, I'm of, when I say torrenting, I mean blockbuster rentals, of course. For certain, it, oh, ooh, tile. What kind of things are you searching? <laughs> Yeah. I will say that, yeah, the um, reverse image searching is, uh... Bing is awful for porn? Good to know. Nothing kills the mood like Bing. Yeah, because it's true. Because Bing is like evil Google. I love that fucking meme where it's like... <laughs> you know, you search how to kill yourself on, on Google. It's like, hey, buddy, what's wrong? I'm not saying that's because they care or anything, obviously, but it's like, it's smart. It takes certain queries and it's like, hey, we're not going to give you instructions on how to kill yourself. Here's a phone number you can call. Meanwhile, Bing is like, Uh, uh, well, you can take a bath with the toaster, and, uh, you can hang yourself. There's a really funny one where it was like, you know, asking Google how to cope with, uh, failing art. Art class. And then it's like, you know, Google is like, oh, well, take up another hobby. Uh, then Bing is like, Hitler. Fail art school, become Hitler. <laughs> well, okay, well, that's, that's, I mean, 
I, c I don't see myself trying to make that kind of search query mix-up, but uh, yeah, I guess it's good that uh, you don't Google search Genshin Impact. <laughs> I mean, the other day I was using Bing AI and it got uppity about tomboy-related vi- Yeah, you fucking shared that before. I, I just- I got so annoyed on your behalf. <laughs> But yeah, don't don't Google Genshin Impact. Cause that's illegal. <laughs> Google good video games, like uh I don't know. Fantasy Star or Sonic R. I got ads from them recently. Now it's about twinks and shirtless. Hey, I mean, it's pride marketing. They're completely skipping the, uh. They're completely skipping the, uh. You know, the half measures. You know, the whole rainbow flags and all. And they're just flat out saying, if you play Genshin Impact once, your brain chemistry will change and you will feel the need to have sex with men's butts. You heard it here first. I mean, speaking of which, I've heard people say that they, they've become really confused looking at me in the cat uniform. But, uh... They had to change demographics because all their previous fans are in prison. Oh lordy. <laughs> oh no. I forgot Firefox is a sellout for one moment today and tried to search for remote desktop software on a live Linux CD and Google gave me random TikTok and Facebook videos only. We live in a society. The big homo. <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's watch the credits one more time. And, uh... Yeah. Look at Peace Sonic over there. That's so gay! I <laughs> like how that's okay. This is showed as that's okay. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, what is the moral of the story? What is the moral of Sonic R? It's okay to be gay. It shows as that's so gay on Twitch. So I'm gonna have to, you know, give them a stern talking to. It's so weird, man. <laughs> Watch out! Yeah, there's no egg digger here. Perpernia. Perpernia. Could have been a secret encounter. And the egg digger would be piloted not by Eggman, but by Kevin Spacey. I won the gay, he would say, before trying to drill you. That came out wrong. Fuck. <laughs> piloted by, yeah, I mean, Digger Nick. Is 
chest that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. I don't know why it says Aziru male grunting. The title is clearly Yaoi Grunts. That was a great stream, guys. Your mom's birthday is June 10th. Well, uh... Happy birthday to her, then. That's great. On June 10th, I'm actually, uh, going on vacation. Get her a girlfriend, it's pride- Yeah! Whoop whoop! Yeah. <laughs> Yes! Do it! Do it! Be the boogeyman that the Westboro Baptist Church warned you about. Anyway, that was a good pride pandering stream. Gays are people too. W game, that's right. That's right. I'll see you all on the next stream tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to be playing next. But uh, they'll be both non-pride themed and pride themed games later. Per Pernia. Thank you for the hit pets. Bye bye